Hey, good evening. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with breaking news. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders is expected to receive Secret Service as soon as tomorrow. This comes after she was asked to leave a Virginia restaurant because of her role with the Trump administration. It's obviously sparked a national conversation on civility in the Trump era. And keeping them honest tonight, President Trump is now trying to leverage political advantage over the political discourse that's been boiling over in recent days. Discourse that, of course, he himself is a big part of. Now, this evening, his campaign sent out this fundraising email to supporters. It mentions how Sarah Sanders was asked to leave the restaurant. It also mentions the moment caught on tape when Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen was heckled in a Washington restaurant last week. Secretary Nielsen ended up leaving the restaurant. The fundraising email also mentions Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who's come under fire for encouraging people to publicly shame members of the Trump team wherever they see them. Here's what she said at a rally on Saturday. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. In the fundraising email requesting donations, the president states, and I quote, the left is trying to bully and buy their way back into power, not on my watch. And later, it says, we will not be intimidated by their vicious bullying. Now, this is clearly an issue the White House wants to keep front and center. Just yesterday, Press Secretary Sanders began her briefing discussing her experience in the restaurant, which, according to a White House official to CNN, is something the president instructed her to do. She also made a call for civility. Healthy debate on ideas and political philosophy is important. But the calls for harassment and push for any Trump supporter to avoid the public is unacceptable. America is a great country, and our ability to find solutions despite those disagreements is what makes us unique. Now, Sarah Sanders' point is obviously well taken. We should be able to have disagreements with fellow citizens without resulting to harassment and bullying. But it should also be noted that the president has taken uncivil discourse to a whole new level. And Sarah Sanders has never distanced herself from things the president has said. Crooked Hillary Clinton. Little Marco. Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her. She's a slob. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Rocket Man should have been handled a long time ago. Jeb Bush is a low energy person. For him to get things done is hard. Maxine Waters, a very low IQ individual. We have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Well, just yesterday, 28 minutes after Sarah Sanders spoke about the need for civility at 3.54 p.m. yesterday, the president was back to lobbying insults, writing in a tweet asking, quote, why is Senator Mark Warner, perhaps in a near drunken state, claiming he has information that only he and Bob Mueller, the leader of the 13 angry Democrats on a witch hunt, knows? Isn't this highly illegal? Is it being investigated? The president was referring to a Politico report about the top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, Senator Mark Warner, told Politico he had made a bad joke about how alcohol would help him spill secrets about the Mueller probe. Now, the presidential insults didn't stop there. About four hours after Sarah Sanders called for civility, President Trump took aim at everyone from reporters to late-night talk show hosts at a rally in South Carolina. Take a look. Now, you know, we have a lot of fake news back there, these fakers. I said, I don't care. I can't stand that guy. She blamed everybody for losing the election, except for one person, herself. There's David Lynch. Enjoy it, because his career in Hollywood is officially over. The guy on CBS is, is, what a low life. But there's no talent. He's not, they're not like talented people. And this guy on CBS has no talent. Jimmy Kimmel would meet me before the election. I don't even think you'd deny it. No talent. Now I wouldn't do a show. A guy's terrible. Jimmy Fallon calls me up. He looks like a lost soul. I said, Jimmy, be a man. Well, it's easy to demand civility from one's opponents. Not so easy to demand it for yourself. Let's get the latest now from CNN's uh, Jim Acosta, who joins us at the White House. Jim, I mean, this fundraising effort, it, it's totally playing right into the president's hands. Uh, it certainly is. It, it is going back to uh, what I heard from a White House uh, source who said that, listen, the, the White House over here, they want to 
uh, put out this message that there is intolerance on the left, never mind the fact that the president, uh, including uh, members of his administration, have been pretty intolerant of other people's views. Uh, they've bullied people at times. But uh, just to uh, give you a sense of what's in this fundraising email, uh, it, it talks about how Sarah Huckabee Sanders was kicked out of a restaurant. Uh, Kirsten Nielsen, the Homeland Security Secretary, was jeered as she tried uh, to leave a restaurant. Uh, it, it, this is from the Trump campaign trying to raise money for the president's uh, 2020 reelection campaign. They're obviously making it very clear that they see what they believe to be harassment from the left as being a potent issue uh, heading into the fall midterms and beyond. I mean, it is interesting, you know, I mean, you were at the president's rally last night where he lobbed insults at everyone from Jimmy Fallon to the prime minister of Canada. I know you were actually on the receiving end of a good deal of incivility from those right. who attended the rally, which, you know, was always encouraged by, uh, by the president uh, often during speeches. Uh, that's right. And there were some glaring headlines from the president's remarks uh, going after Jimmy Fallon, as you said, and, and talking about a, a whole host of different topics. Uh, one thing that we didn't really focus on is he once again referred to us as fake news and the enemy of the people. He once again referred to the press as the enemy of the people. Uh, Anderson, I've seen this at countless uh, Trump rallies where he uh, just whips people up into a frenzy. And so it was no surprise to me when I walked into that rally uh, yesterday evening, hours before the president took the stage, that there were people coming up to me, elderly women uh, coming up to me uh, and taunting us and saying all sorts of terrible things. Uh, but Anderson, one thing I did fi uh, find throughout the evening is that there were people who would come up to us and say, listen, I'm, I'm sorry about uh, what's happening to you. And a, one man actually uh, at one point asked if anybody would lend him a chair. I gave him his chair, uh, this chair, and he came back with his, his mother and said, thank you for helping us out. Uh, my mother really appreciates it. Uh, and so, Anderson, I think what happens often is that when people see us as who we are, human beings, uh, they, they sort of lower the hostility level. But uh, no question about it. I think uh, when it comes to civility in this country, it, it starts at the top. The president has to set the right example for the rest of the country. Right. Jim Costa, uh, Jim, thanks very much.